I thought of the week uh, on balance. And um, sometimes, and I struggle with this, guys, the... So when you work and you work for something, and, and I have this problem, and again, I have the dogs and Sophie and, and a little guy where I'm kind of tied down a little more that I would particularly even like, but it is what it is and we make the most of it because they make me really happy. The but balance of uh, having fun and having that drive to, to push and work, um, it's a really tough thing, and there's no right or wrong answer on this. And I, but I could see it, and in, in, so I, from my point of view, I look at it. I'm in a period where I have to buckle down. I had to get my health back. I'm trying to do major, major things. I'm not trying to do. I'm trying to do major things here. So I have to. It's almost like this is the most pivotal, pivotal point in my life of where I need to work and just. Where I've had to lock myself down and just go, 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 go. And when I get it to a certain point and can delegate some of the responsibilities, that will open up more time for me to be able to maybe have a little more fun and do some more things. And I look at it and I see people that lack success as far as what they want. And they they say they want to do this, but... They go out and party three or four nights a week, or they go out and party just even once a week, and it ruins them for two or three days. And year after year, they're spinning their wheels, they're working for somebody else, they're not doing what they want to do. People I've seen, they want to have their own business. They say they want to have their own business. They apply themselves a little bit to have their own business, but they don't go all the way. And they go out and they party. And they think they, they go out and they think they have to be social and go out all the time. But that time that they're going out, they're not educating themselves. They're not learning. They're not learning about the ins and outs of their business, what they can do to actually get their business going. And three years in, they're in the same exact place they were three years ago. So I have the, the luxury of being able to look at this from, from my point of view. And then there's also, you can look at it from somebody who does have good, decent balance and they're happy with their life and they look at what I'm doing and they, you work too hard, you work too hard, you work too hard. You don't take enough time for fun. And where I look at it, and I was just thinking about this the other day, for me, I go, you know what, I should, because I'm really good when I put stuff down and just mark it down, I'll do it. That's just how I've always been that way. But if I don't, I'll just keep working. And... Um, and I get, you know, people message me and, and different people I know, hey, let's go, let's go to the fights this week. And it's the day before and I'm just like, I can't stop what I'm doing right now and just do that. And that's, you know, a five or six hour chunk of time. And, um, but if I mark something down a week or two in advance, I know that I'm going to sacrifice that amount of time and I'll make sure I get whatever I need to get done even well in advance to give myself that time. But I don't do that a lot because I enjoy what I'm doing. I'm constantly, I love listening to books on my downtime. Just constantly, there's always something to be doing with what I'm doing right now. But I got to thinking, I go, you know what? It wouldn't be so bad, even if it was once every other week, just planning something fun with somebody and start getting out a little more. And because in, in, when you do give yourself a mental break and just let go and get away from all the bullshit, and it, it can actually help you work harder. And I'm fully aware of that. So, but it just got me to thinking, and it, one of the books I'm actually listening to, I'm going to mention the two books because they're, they're really good. And it was from, uh, as we get, get a lot of message, this book I hear is uh, The Mastery of Self by Don Miguel Ruiz Jr. and uh, Living a Life of Awareness by uh, Don Miguel Ruiz Jr. And it is... Um, the book from, he's the son of, uh, and I can't think of it off the top of my head, The Four Agreements, Don Miguel Ruiz. This is, he is his son. And uh, very, very good books. So, uh, but it got to talking about balance in there. And I just started thinking, like I said, you know what? I need to maybe have a little more balance and enjoying the now. We oftentimes, we get caught up to in the future, trying to build for a, a future of happiness uh, while neglecting the now and being happy now, um, even though I am happy now, but really just taking time and, like I said, setting aside a little bit of time. And but that's for me personally. 
But I think we can all take this and apply this into our lives and however it may fit. If you're someone that, that isn't where you want to be and you do have these goals and you got to look at your life and say, well, you know what? Maybe I'm taking a little bit too much time right now on my happiness now and as far as doing short-term things uh, for pleasure that maybe I need to shift that balance a little bit and buckle down a little more and move that to once a week or once every other week or whatever that is. And again, if you're somebody that's in the trenches working like crazy and stress is building up and then maybe it's okay, we got to put a day in here and uh, lighten up and not get caught up in this every single day. And it's just keeping an open mind to it and looking at our life and being honest with ourselves at the end of the day. And balance is a really, really tough thing, especially with everything going on and especially with these mobile devices. Oftentimes I told you guys I keep this thing on do not disturb because the, even when the, the sound is off, the vibration, it, it annoys me because it's just constantly going off. And I have like, I've turned notifications off on all these apps. They all want your attention. There's, we're, we're, we're just not meant for that. And I, I know I'm not. And I have to just keep it off. And then I, when I go to my phone to get my stuff done, I can, I can look and see when I want to look and see, okay, I need to check my email. I don't have my email notifying me a thousand times a day. You know, look at me, look at me, look at me. So that's my thought of the week this week on balance and just trying to figure it all out, guys. Trying to figure it all out. Thank you guys very much for watching Ryback TV. If you could smash that subscribe, hit that like button, share this channel, and for Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com, save 10% with Podcast 10, click here for my podcast conversation with the big guy Ryback, available on all podcast platforms. Click here. And for more videos of yours truly on Ryback TV, click here. Feed me more.